all so if you have been following my video for quite a while now you would know that I, you know I did the big chop and everything and um, I decided to start growing a natural afro hair so I did that big chop I think um, about four years ago nearly but I started experiencing hair loss after two years of growing my hair out naturally so after experiencing this to be honest because it was the first time i actually noticed that i was experiencing hair loss i didn't have like i didn't know what to do and i tried so many things i was always on youtube looking for you know remedies for hair loss and treatments for hair loss natural treatment for hair loss and everything but to be honest i did you know i had to do different things to kind of help my health in general and um you know in order to help me start growing a healthy hair back and to also stop the hair loss and there was also because um even though i was cleaning up myself within my body i felt my scalp and my hair needed to be rejuvenated again so after trying different things like i tried almost everything guys i tried everything everything that you know people would recommend if you're going through hair loss and everything but the hair loss i was going through was a little bit different because it's kind of related to alopecia as well gaining information from di from different source kind of helped me to put my own recipe together this is not something new but this is something that I've, I've used personally out of all the things i've used i can say that this one actually does work so if you have been experiencing hair loss this is something you may want to try out and so let's get started on the recipe hope you enjoyed the video natural remedy for hair loss that actually works <laughs> so i would be using one lemon now lemon is very very good for treating hair loss and it also um, exfoliates the scalp and it also gives the hair the strength it needs to prevent hair loss and it also you know gives the scalp vitamin c and d and next i go for my um, egg so i use the egg yolk in the egg which you know helps in promoting hair strength and it also battles dryness which is one of the things that can also cause hair loss and then i go for honey next now honey has some um, natural healing properties you know that also prevents hair loss and um, it nourishes the hair as well and then next i go for extra virgin olive oil which also prevents hair loss and is also rich in vitamin a and vitamin e and it also stimulates the follicles and it also helps to rejuvenate the scalp you know so these are things you need when you're going through hair loss and then i go for a bottle from a you know used um conditioner or shampoo and a bowl and a spoon so starting i go for my bowl and spoon and then you want to separate your egg from your egg yolk and white and i've done that already so that's my own um egg yolk and then i go for the juice from one whole lemon and you want to make sure you sieve this through just so that you prevent you know getting the um white beads cut in your hair and you want to make sure you don't squeeze that through the sieve as well and then you want to give that a mix And then I go for my natural honey so I go for two tablespoons of honey and one thing I love about honey as well is that it's everywhere like you can get this from anywhere in the market and it's also affordable and um, I also make sure I get all those bits of honey <laughs> So next I go for my extra virgin olive oil. I go for two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. And guys, I just need to mention to you as well that when you find your um, olive oil, you want to make sure you go for the extra virgin olive oil. Not just olive oil, but extra virgin olive oil. So you're pretty much done. And then you want to mix that through. You know just to make sure you know you get rid of the lumps from the egg yolk and that's the consistency you would get from the mixture and then now your recycled leave-in conditioner or <laughs> shampoo bottle 
so here i you know attempted to pour my mixture straight into the bottle but my hand wasn't steady enough yes <laughs> so i decided to go for a measuring cup which made life easier for me <laughs> so i transferred my mixture into the bottle i noticed some lumps were you know going through you know into the bottle when i was pouring that through so i decided to give it another mix you know just to make sure the mixture mixes properly and that's it so i will be needing a plastic bag and my mixture and a towel at this stage so you want to make sure you use a towel because that thing is quite messy you know it's very very runny and um yeah so be sure to go for that towel guys because this thing is very very runny like i mentioned and yeah it does go everywhere yes it goes everywhere <laughs> yeah so at this stage i make sure that i you know apply that mixture in my scalp you know i don't really bother about you know making sure it gets in my hair strand you know because another thing is when you're experiencing hair loss you know it can also mean that um, your scalp doesn't have you know the nutrients it needs and you know that mixture is nutrient packed anyway so yes i apply that through and then i massage that through my scalp so massage 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 <laughs> and then i cover up with my plastic bag so you can cover this up for about two to three hours or even more time if you know if you've got the time and then i don't know why i was whispering here to be honest guys but i am just saying i would leave the rest in the fridge and then next i wash that through you know so that's my shampoo so you want to make sure you rinse it out first before applying your shampoo and be sure to use cold water because remember you know that mixture has egg yolk in it if you use too much of the warm water or hot water you would get egg yolk chunk in your hair <laughs> and that's something we, we don't want to happen so excuse my tired face it's been a long day guys so i'm just applying my leave-in conditioner and then my hair growth oil mixture which is nearly finished so expect tutorial soon so i massage tr that through my scalp and then my shea butter mix <laughs> apply that through and then my white tooth comb and i follow the old comb method okay so i hold my hair with my hand and then i comb so i put the comb through my hair first hold with the other hand and then i comb so i make sure i do this you know just to prevent um, applying too much of um, pressure on my scalp and um, just to make sure you know i'm treating that hair like a little child so this is my journey guys can you see my edges compared to where i used to be you know from that picture at the top right hand side guys this stuff does work for me and then my scalp at the back as well you know all the bald patches you know is gone so this stuff actually does work and another thing is i feel like you know my hair gets this strength you know once i do this hair treatment so i get a soft headband you know that is not applying or putting any kind of pressure on my edges or my hair and i'm done guys so that's my hair right now and that's what it looks like so that's all the hair i lost guys that's not like me you know i used to lose a lot of hair let me know you can leave comment below if you have also been experiencing hair loss and you've tried different things and maybe you tried this out and this worked for you make sure you leave me a comment below and i shall speak to you guys soon in my next video thank you guys for watching be sure to check out my top video where i talked about um 
you know causes of hair loss and then the video at the bottom where i talked about how to make your own leave-in conditioner and especially for hair loss as well thanks for watching guys don't forget to thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more i shall see you guys soon in my next video bye guys